The Ballad of Booted Bondage by Peter Trower The waiting hill tipped ragged against the sky in the press of the swelling sun. We shuffled our feet and talked of booted bondage and days gone by on a windless morning of heat. Back then, said the ancient hooker, shifting his noose, she was rough and tough, and they played it by hit or miss. And I guess I've seen my share of shit and abuse, but never a show like this. It's kind of funny, but when I was young and quick and my legs were good, they mostly logged on the flat. But now I'm getting old, and he rubbed his neck. We gotta work ground like that. And his eyes and ours crept up past the steel spar, that man-made symbol of modern efficiency. We saw the claim with its rock bluffs rugged and sheer, and we tasted the irony. And then it was starting time. Resigned to our lot, we snuffed our smokes and began the weary ascent. As though we had sinned by living, God, it was hot. And this was our punishment. We were damp with sweat, and we reached the first of the logs. We paused at last for a short but grateful break, and clung to the brush-furred incline, panting like dogs, while the hooker puffed in our wake. The whistle banshied, distant, the rigging jerked into metal motion. Chokers rattled and danced up mountain toward us. Hoarsely a raven croaked, and so the yarding commenced and we throttled logs with our kinky steel ropes, logs that had stood as trees before we were born, and sent them shuddering truckward down the slopes, turn after a headlong turn. The day dragged on. The air was a scorching sheath. The only moisture, sweat that dagged our eyes. The snarling sun above and the fools beneath who came to scrabble for trees. The cables scraped a tune on the naked rocks. We dreamed of beer in the air-cooled bars of town and of sparks that might sow flame by the hallback blocks. Much hotter, they'd close us down. In our groggy minds, we nursed the greed for reprieve. It would never come, so what the hell was the use? Then the hooker yelled, and the side hill came alive as the road line stump tore loose. We dived for cover and held by horror. We stared at the grizzled hooker whose legs were not fast enough for the spinning uprooted stump that came like it cared and swept him over the bluff. There's little more. We packed him finally out, dead as though he had never breathed or been. And they closed her down. But I heard his words like a shout. It's the toughest show I've seen. And his grave lies elsewhere, carefully kept and unmarred, with a floral wreath and a plaque that bears his name. But his real stone is a cliff face, pitted and scarred on a logged-off logging claim.